to install the three shelves, four parts, just lay them all out. Check here that this fitting here is towards the outside, so everything is outside. Outside bend, outside bend. This is also on the outside. Quite simple, place this in here, slide it forward, place this in here. Slide it into place. See that this bend is on the outside, like this. Here's the rear part of the shelf. Fit in. Tip here, this has to be level. Should push down, if not, take your piece of wood. So this is all nice and smooth. And you'll see on the back. Now, these fittings are touching. If it wasn't all the way down, we'd have a gap here, that's no good. These have to touch here. laminate. So HPL, platinum fur, I'll show you some more um, finishes in a minute. The, the drawer front, see so you now why their fittings are on the outside. So this all lines up and we're going to be using the self-tapping screws. There's many of. Off we go. joints in nice and tight. Wonder. Shelf number one. Okay. We've made our drawer. We're now going to install the adjustable fittings. These are crazy looking things. But the beauty is they're so adjustable. We'll come on to that later. What I would like to point out is you can just see in here they should arrive with it set at zero setting. As you can see, you can adjust it. Like a kitchen drawer cabinet, we want these both to be in a line, zero, zero. If we can do that to start with, it will not only ease assembly, it will prevent any damage of it sliding in the mechanism. But fine. We have a left and a right, right and a left, whichever way you're looking at it. I'll show you how these go in a minute. These Sorry, I got that wrong. These orange parts are towards the inside. So th this is our final result. And we're going to install those with the M4 nuts and bolts. That's a good tip, thank you. That's nice. And now, That's nice. Action.
here. Okay. And now, at the same time, mm -hmm. again. Yeah. No? No? I'm in. Good? Okay. Good. Level, level, nice. It's good. I'll do this time. You. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Up. Okay. There's many holes here. Yes. That's for reinforcement. Yeah. Oh, my apologies. Can we do this? Um, oh, it's, it's okay. I'll hold it. Yeah, I hold it. You put a few in. Okay. I got it. Good. Yes, top and bottom is there. There at the top, so you don't cut the bag of the sharp hole. That's all nice. And a few screws in there. Thank you. And the clips. And the clips. Nice. I'm happy to do those. Yep. Yep. I'll put them the right way this time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the shop call for always complete. And now sliding door. This one's easy. This one easy. Fitting is the back, so 
So we're going to go in this way round. Green is the back. If you need to get one out, here's a little clip to remove it. So you, you reach in, click clip, and it will come out. Here's a tip to install. Hinges back. I lay this on top. One, two, so it's now balancing. Push it in. This is an action that's engaging the clips. It's a push in. And we've got it. This will take the heavy cast iron griddles, grates, pizza stones. Beautiful. Two more. Perfect. Easy. Easy. Accessory drawers with the ventilation for the grill is where the grill will be. It's fine. Easy. Thank you. Okay, we're going to install the three drawers. They're all the same onto the soft close fittings. A few tips as we go along. Okay, remember we want these level, not adjusted. We want these in position one. It's normal to have the left one like this and the right one level. These spikes are going to come through these holes. That's what holds the back in and then the adjustment will set it up and down. No tools required. It's crucial to have it level. If we go wrong, don't engage correctly. This is how we release it. Let's see. Let's stop the bottom drawer. Can you see me? Yep. Okay. So these, the spikes at the back, want to come into these holes. I'm going to push it back. Now, this may look in, but it's not fully engaged. So I'm going to take hold of the bar. And click. That's come through four or five millimeters. That's perfect. I'll release this one. I'm going to give it a that's in, and it's not rattling on there at all. Both these are on, and now we should have a perfect aligned draw. You'll know if you've done it wrong, but this, this one's good. If we've done anything wrong, this will be off, or it'll be off centre. That's gone in first time, draw number one's done. Do number two and three, let's see if they all go to plan. And then we'll demonstrate one that's gone slightly wrong. If you weren't familiar with the process. Yeah, I can see where it goes. Yeah. That's nice movement. I hold the black bit. Yeah. Here's that. Yeah. Now it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Now it's perfect. Good. Perfect and sweet. There's a feel and a technique that that spike goes all the way through, but we're on a we're on a nice level surface here. This is all good. We don't need to make any adjustments. The big tray is the same. Screw it together. Yep. Nice and sweet. Thank you. 
can adjust the front edge if yes, you, you want can to. hire a yeah, little yeah. bit here, or you can bend like this yeah. on one side or another side. Thank you. Perfect. So now it's the time to nest the grill. Really liking this fur. It looks like a faded teeth, but it will stay stable that colour for many years. We'll show it alongside the other one later, but that's that's looking really good. Ah. System. It's going to fit in here. It's a two person job. I'm going to use some of the packaging we took from the grill just to make a, a resting place. We've left the protective packaging on here. Just going to use a little bit of this to protect our corner. normal that's what happens with uh, quality stainless steel surfaces we we'll see now we've got a beautifully clean finish where it is cut here what a diff slight difference in colour no problem plenty of stainless steel and polishes on the market or baby oil makes a fantastic job let's take a little bit of the product you can see straight away all the finger marks are gone you can take that the whole product. Yeah. Easy maintenance. I'm going to do the whole top. Come back to you in a minute and it'll be done. Mm -hmm. 